All right, let's do some examples. We're given some formulas of lines, and we want to identify the slope and the y-intercept of each line. Notice in the first example, we're given f of x equals 3x plus 8. I'm going to compare that to the slope-intercept form of a line, mx plus b. Clearly, it looks like m is 3, and it looks like b is 8. So, recalling m is the slope of the line, this means the slope of f of x is 3. So on this line, we go over 1, up 3. The y-intercept of this line is the point 0, 8. The place where it hits the y-axis is 0, 8. In the second example, we have g of x equals negative 1 half x minus 4. Again, I can compare this pretty easily to mx plus b. m being negative 1 half, b is negative 4. So the slope of this line is negative 1 over 2. The slope, change in y over change in x, is negative 1 over 2. It says you go over 2 and down 1 on this line. The y-intercept is the point 0, negative 4. h of x equals x plus 2. Again, it's pretty close to mx plus b. This time, though, it looks like there's no m there. But recall, you can write x as 1x. So h of x could be written as 1x plus 2 instead of just x plus 2. And then we clearly see m, which is the slope, is 1. So on this line, you go over 1, up 1. The y-intercept is the point 0, 2. A k of x. Again, I'm going to try to compare it to mx plus b. Again, this one seems to be missing something. It seems to be missing that b value. I see here m, the number in front of x, seems to be negative 7. But the b is missing. Negative 7x, what could b actually be? Well, if we rewrite this as negative 7x plus 0, notice that that is the same thing. Negative 7x is negative 7x plus 0. But if I write it that way, it's a little easier to understand that b is 0. So in this line, the slope is negative 7. On this line, you go over 1, down 7. And b is 0, so the y-intercept is 0, 0. m of x equals 3. Again, let's try to compare it to mx plus b. This time, the x part of the expression is missing. There is no mx piece to this. I could say that the b is 3, so the y-intercept is 0, 3. But that mx part is missing. And if you think about it, what number would m have to be to make mx disappear, to make m of x cancel away? Well, it would be that m is 0. We could say that m of x is 0x plus 3, because 0x is just 0 cancels away to make m of x equal 3. So the slope, the number in front of x, is 0. On this line, you go over 1, up 0. All right. Now let's look at some examples where the function isn't handed to us in mx plus b form. Notice that this form of f of x is written in point-slope form, m times x minus x1 plus y1. Again, comparing that, it looks like m is 6, and a point on this line is 5, 2. So the slope 
is 6, which tells us we go over 1, up 6 on this line. And a point on the graph is 5, 2. But we were asked to find the slope and the y-intercept. Notice, this is not the y-intercept. This point would be over 5, up 2, certainly not on the y-axis. One way we could find the y-intercept is to rewrite this formula. We could distribute the 6. We get 6x six minus 30 plus 2. And so f of x equals 6x minus 28. Notice by rewriting it this way, it now looks like mx plus b. And so this number b is negative 28. So the y-intercept is 0, negative 28. Let's try that one again. g of x is negative 1 half, x minus 8 plus 3. Again, I'm seeing this has the form m times x minus x1 plus y1. m is clearly negative 1 half. So on this line, the slope is negative 1 half, which means we go over 2, down 1 on this line. I also see from point slope form that a point on the line is 8, 3. But again, I notice this is not the y-intercept. It's a point on the line. You go over 8, up 3. That point will be on the line. However, if I want to find the y-intercept, I'll go ahead and rewrite this. Distributing that negative 1 half, I get negative 1 half x plus 4 plus 3. And so it's negative 1 half x plus 7. When I write it this way, I see it's mx plus b. And now I clearly see b is 7. 0, 7 is the y-intercept. Let's do one more example. Here we have the form 3x minus 2y equals 8. This is the general form of a line. And if I want to find the slope of this line and the y-intercept of this line, again, I'm going to go ahead and rewrite it. It tells me here that y is a function h of x. I'll go ahead and rewrite this equation, solve it for y. So it's written in the usual form, y equals. To solve for y, I'll go ahead and subtract 3x on both sides. So I have negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 8. I'm trying to solve for y. So I divide both sides by negative 2. Remember, everything gets divided by negative 2, the 3x and the 8. Now I'm left with y equals negative 3 over negative 2x minus 8 over 2. Simplifying, negative 3 over negative 2 is just 3 halves, and 8 over 2 is just 4. So in this formula, y equals 3 halves x minus 4. I just rewrote the given formula in a different way. But now this form of the line I can see looks like mx plus b. So the slope m is 3 halves which means you go over 2, up 3. The y-intercept is 0, negative 4.